this is now the second video where we're going to look at indices in the, the gap between GCSE and A-level. And again, in terms of the, the uh, level of difficulty, this should be fairly straightforward and generally something that you will take for granted. But we need to cover it anyway so you're absolutely fluent. Now, what we're going to look at are two um, different uh, rules of indices. The first one is going to be A to the zero power is equal to 1. And the second one is A to the m raised to the n is equal to a m n, where m n is what we call a product, m multiplied by n. Now, let's just look at this, uh, and we started touching on this last time. Anything to the zero power is just 1. Let's start off with now 2 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 4 is going to be 16. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 squared is going to give us now uh, 4. 2 to the first power is going to give us 2. If we look what's happening, we're dropping by power each time on the left. So the next one's going to have to be 2 to the 0. And now we're going to be dividing by 2. 64 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. So we need to divide 2 by 2 which is going to give us 1. So 2 to the 0 power is 1. And in the next video, we'll see what happens when we go negative. So let's start off now with 3. If we have 3 to the 4th power, we're going to get 81. 3 cubed, we're going to get 27. 3 squared, we're going to get 9. 3 to the power of 1, or just 3, is 3. 3 to the 0, dividing it by 3, is going to give us 1. Anything to the zero power is just one. Okay, let's focus on this one right here. Let's just take an example. If we have two squared to the power of three, then what this is telling me is that I've got two squared and I've got three lots of those brackets. So that's what that says in long form. And again, you will never write this out as it is. So what we've got is essentially 2 squared multiplied by 2 squared multiplied by 2 squared. And we know now to just add the powers. And this becomes 2 to the power of 6. That clearly gives rise to the fact that if we've got the power raised to another power, we're just going to multiply. So 2 squared to the power of 3 becomes 2 to the power of 6. That's a to the m raised to the n is a, the multiple of m times by n. So let's quickly flip through. 2 to the power of 6, 3 to the power of 4, 6 to the power of 6, 5 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 8, um, 4 to the power of 6. Now an interesting thing here is if we look at this in more depth, 4 is equal to 2 squared. So what we've got here is the following. We've got 2 squared squared and now we've got that cubed 2 times by 2 times by 3 is going to give me 2 to the power of 12 whereas here we've got 4 to the power of 6 and we can see the link between the two as the base number doubles the power halves so let's have a look at something along the lines of 9 to the power of 3 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 729. That would suggest that it's going to be the same as 3 to the power of 6. Well, what we know is 3 times by 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 3 is 3 to the power of 6. So 3 times 3 is 9. Times it by 3, and we're going to get now 27. Times it by 3, we'll get 81. Times it by 3, we'll get 243 times it by 3 we get 729 so as you can see the base number is now being multiplied by 3 and then the power is doubling is uh, half in there so you can see what's happening the connection between the two okay so these are fairly straightforward we're going to get 2 to the power of 8 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3, it's going to be 2 to the power of 12. That's going to give us 3 to the power of 10. 5 to the power of 3, 
10 to the power of 5 to the power of 3, and then 7 to the power of 5 to the power of 4. So, again, this is something that you should be fairly cool with. And we'll just extend this to something just fairly general. This one right here gives rise to the following. We just multiply the powers, and we'll have this as x to the 3 over 2 power. Just multiplying 3 by half will give us x to the 3 over 2. We can write this in a few different ways. Um, we're going to come on to that in our later work with indices converting between um, third form and general form. What this is telling me is that I've got x to the half power cubed, which would give me root x multiplied by root x multiplied by root x or x root x. But again, that's for a later tutorial. This is the answer we're interested in. A to the m to the n is a m multiplied by n. 2 times a quarter is going to give us a to the 1 half. Or we could write that as root a. These two things are identical pieces of notation. The half power is the square root. This is where I want to get to in terms of the learning today. That causes huge problems. So many people write 6b as their answer. What we need to appreciate is that the power on the 2 is 1. So if you're ever unsure, 2 to the power of 1, b to the power of 1 third, all cubed. You multiply the indices so it can, becomes 2 to the power of 3, and then b to the power of 1. 3 times by a third is 1. So we can simply write this as 8b. This one, remember, that is 5 to the power of 1, y to the power of 3, all to the power of 1 half. So it's going to become 5 to the power of 1 half and y to the power of 3 over 2. Or you could write this as root 5, y to the 3 over 2 and all manner of other things just there. So that's the take home message. A to the m to the n is going to give us a m multiplied by n. Anything to the zero power is just going to give us one. Um, just a couple of other parts here. If we have the following, say we have now um, 2x squared y to the power of zero, then what we end up with is 2 to the zero. We'll have x to the zero, y to the zero, which means all of this is just going to be one. That whole bracket, even before you start, the whole thing is going to become one. On the other hand, if you have the following and you had 2 to the 0, x squared y to the power of 2, then of course this is going to be 1, but we get x to the 4th, y, and remember it's a little 1, y squared. So just be careful with your rules of indices. So the level of complexity of that is, again, fairly low, and the majority of you should be absolutely at ease with those two rules. But just as a take-home point, a to the 0 power is going to be 1. a to the power of m raised to the n is going to be a m multiplied by n. In the next video, we will do the uh, final two uh, rules of indices that are significantly more taxing than the ones that we've looked at. So, there are your two points, add to the last two, and we'll move on with the next ones in the next video.